Hi everyone, I'm Rob Horlacher from the University of Lethbridge Library. I am going to be showing you how to create a video with PowerPoint and then add it onto YouTube. All right, so um, the first thing you wanna do is create a video from your PowerPoint. So what you wanna do to do that is you first want to open up um, whatever PowerPoint you want. Um, since I don't really have any on this computer, I am just going to open up um, a generic one. Um, assuming that you've already created one uh, with audio and stuff like that, uh, just open up that one and we can do the exact same thing with that. All right, so we have our PowerPoint brought up. Uh, you can see that we have all of our slides. Um, maybe you have like a little audio button on here or something, so you've actually recorded some audio. I am recording some audio so you can see what this looks like. Okay, so I've recorded some audio, so now we see this little audio button on here. Um, I'm guessing that you may want to remove that from your slideshow so students don't actually see it. So if you ever want to do that, you just need to go into audio and then playback or click on this little guy and then click playback at the top. And then to remove it, you just want to click hide during show. If you do that when you watch the slideshow or uh, export the video, you'll notice that you can't see it any longer. So see, it's not right there on my screen but you can still see it's there. And we have the audio. So um, that's how you can add audio and hide that little icon. Next thing you want to do is hit file in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Um, if you're on a Mac, it would be somewhere similar. Um, after that, you go down to this little export button because we need to tell our computer now we want to create a video. So, as you can imagine, when we go over here, you click create a video. And then you just need to specify the information that you might want. Um, 1920 by 1080 is high definition, so um, you might want that. If you find that that's having issues, though, getting like added to YouTube or something, you might want to drop it down to the 720p. Um, I'm going to do 1080p just to show you what it looks like. Um, you can specify right here that uh, how much time you should leave on each slide if it doesn't have audio associated with it. So I want to spend five seconds on each slide. Um, you can create it to 10 seconds or however long you might want here. For example, that would be 10 seconds. And then you want to make sure you click on um, use recorded times and narrations. Right now, mine is blanked out. Um, we'll see what this preview times and narrations looks like. I am recording some audio so you can see what this looks like. Okay, and then we hit create video. And then you just want to specify where you save that video. And then you'll see a little bar down here. So this little bar is actually um, how long it's going to take to export your video. Um, you can see that mine is um, raising fairly slowly, so I'll just give it a minute and I will talk again once it's done. <clears throat> All right, so now you can see the little bar is no longer on the bottom, so our video is exported. So I'm just going to close out of this. And then we're going to preview our video to make sure it's exactly what we want it to be. So I'm just gonna check it out real quick. I am recording some audio so you can see what this looks like. Okay, so my audio worked fine. Once again, you can't see that logo anymore. And now each slide, since we it doesn't have audio associated with it, is gonna play for 10 seconds. Um, so I'm just going to watch really quick. I'll fast forward through this. Okay, so our video works the way we want.